Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Gunlands, which happens to be one of my favorite weapons in Monster Hunter. I've pretty much been a huge fan of the Gunlands ever since uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's the first time the Gunlands was actually introduced into the game. And I know what you guys are thinking, like, oh, Rukon, Gunlance is so unwieldy, it's so heavy, it's so this and that and the other. First and foremost, if you are just starting on Monster Hunter, you have to remember something. The time in which you are actually going to have your weapon drawn is not that much during a fight. You're only really going to draw your weapon when you're about to deal a, an attack onto the monster. And immediately after, you're going to sheath your weapon. So movement is not really a problem, regardless of how big your weapon is. You're going to move as fast as everybody else. The difference is that you're going to move a little bit slower when you are actually attacking. What does that mean? Blocking. You're going to be blocking more than other users. You're going to be blocking more than anyone except for the regular lance. Regular lance will probably block more than you because they depend on blocking more than you. So a lot of times if you see that a monster is about to do something really nasty and you think you're not going to have enough time to dodge, pull up the block, blocking super easy, you press that R2, boom, you're blocking, good to go. And then you pray for, pray for not to get killed, play, pray that that particular attack can actually be blocked because sometimes Monsters actually do attacks that cannot be blocked, or sometimes they will attack you from behind. Remember, you have to be facing your block. So, like, say if this particular barrel is the monster, don't turn your back to it and block, because you're still going to get hit, okay? If you're going to block something, you have to make sure that you are facing the thing that you are blocking. Like this. See? That way, you don't take damage. So, keep that in mind. This is very much a weapon that is extremely offensive, despite the fact that it's got a massive shield and all that stuff. This is one of the most offensive weapons in the game, in my opinion, because you can do so many different things with it. It is insane. You can already see all these combos that are up in here. I don't know exactly if you can turn these off from the UI, but whatever. Anyway, let's get started with the basics. So what's so special about the gun lance? Gun lance is essentially a lance that can shoot. So shooting in the lance is called shelling. So if you ever see the word shelling, that's what it means. It means shoot. Press circle. Okay. I've pressed circle a little bit too much and we did worm stake cannon. Anyway, we'll talk about the worm stake cannon in a bit. So if you look to the top left hand side, you can see the amount of times you can shoot your gun. So this particular uh, gun lance can be shot five times. It is normal shelling. I will go over the different kinds of shelling at the end of this video if you're curious about that stuff. But uh, yeah, you can take five shots. Now the good, the, the interesting, not interesting, but the uh, limitations that you have to keep in mind is that the shots are fairly close range. So you see, pretend that monster, that uh, pillar over there is a monster. You can't hit it from here. It's too far away. And you're like, wow, then what's the point of even shooting it? Think of it more like a quick shotgun blast to the face than necessarily a precise sniper shot, okay? So you can't hit that thing from here. So you're going to have to move a little bit closer. Still can't hit it from here. Still can't hit it from here. You have to be damn near hugging the monster to actually shoot it. And then you guys are like, then what's the use in the thing actually shooting to begin with? Because shelling basically does, um, I think it's, is it impact damage? I'm not 100% sure. Either way, uh, shelling allows you to, to extend your combos. Not only extend your combos, but basically shelling is cool. I mean, you're basically coming up to a monster, shooting a shotgun blast in the monster's face. What's cooler than that? Okay? Anyway. Let's talk about extending your combo. So, very basic combo to get you started, which is the triangle spam combo. If you're moving forward, hit triangle. Your character does this little charge thing. This charge thing allows you to go into a bunch of different combos. Let's start with the basic one. So, you're just spamming triangle. It's a good gap closer. Forward triangle, triangle, triangle. It will allow you to do the attack that closes the gap, as well as three more attacks. Pretty cool. Boom, and then poke, poke, poke. Okay, so this is your most basic combo. Now, shelling, which is one of the defining characteristics of the gun lance, is going to allow you to extend that combo. So go forward triangle, into triangle, 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 shoot, triangle, 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 shoot, triangle, 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 shoot, and you get the idea. You can do this for as long as you have ammunition, okay? That's a pretty cool combo, pretty basic combo. But it gives you the idea of what you can do with shelling. Shelling can be basically weaved in your, into the middle of your attacks in order to achieve different results. 
As a matter of fact, shelling is particularly effective if you happen to learn how to do the slam. Slam is actually pretty cool. Now, there are two ways, actually there's multiple ways of getting the slam. I'm going to teach you two really fast ones. Slam is going to involve you uh, learning how to use the triangle circle move, which is this, the rising slash, okay? So here's the thing. When you do forward and triangle from a neutral stance, you're going to do the lunging up thrust, which is like a variation of the rising slash. If you can see, basically, it does kind of like the same thing. So two ways of getting into slam. If you do the rising slash, which like I said, circle triangle, does that. If you then spam triangle, you're going to get into the slam. The overhead smash. I just call it slam, easier to understand. You're slamming your gun lance into the ground. If you're on the other hand, you're doing the um, forward moving lunge, you press triangle circle, goes into the slam again. Notice the difference, okay? Triangle circle, triangle, or moving forward, triangle, and triangle, circle. I messed that up, sorry. Moving forward, triangle, triangle, circle. And why is it important to know how to get to the slam part of a combo? Because the slam opens up multiple things that you can do. For starters, you can do the slam and then you can do shelling and shelling is basically going to empty all five rounds at once. You guys are like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, so let's do it. Forward. Slam, shelling, goes burst fire, unloads all of your shots into the monster at once. Very good move, okay? Now, the cool thing is that from slam, again, you can go to something else. You can go to worm steak. Now, worm steak is that thing that I showed you earlier, um, but I'm going to show it to you again. So, let's go into slam. Boom. Slam. Triangle, triangle, worm steak. We actually missed the worm steak there. Let me reload. Uh, so worm steak is going to put a stake into your target. If I can actually land it. And as you can see, that stays there, deals um, a couple of a couple of hits of damage, and then it explodes, dealing a little bit more damage than normal. That's pretty cool. Also looks pretty cool when you jam one of those into the monster. There's something incredibly alpha dominant about just jamming a blade into a monster that stays there and then explodes. I don't know. I personally like it quite a bit. I found it to be one of the most satisfying moves in Moss on World, so I just like doing that particular thing. So that is the worm stake. And like I said, if you go into slam and then you keep um, spamming triangle, you're going to get to worm stake. So keep that in mind. Remember, there's two ways to go into slam. Once again, you go forward and then triangle circle. Or you can just go do... Triangle, circle, and then triangle. And then you spam triangle, and eventually you'll get to Worm State Cannon. You're know, like, but Rurikon, that's too hard to hit, because you still have to do a lot of moves. Okay, if you want to hit him faster with the Worm State Cannon, there's another thing that you can do. You can spam shelling, okay? Just straight up spam shelling, your character will go into Worm State Cannon. So like, one, two, Worm State Cannon. You just spam circle. You can get the worm steak cannon out that way if you need to practice on how to actually land this thing on monsters. But eventually you will want to get used to landing it like this. Because this is a combo that will deal more damage than three shells, okay? It's also more important to do it like that because you can weave a shelling in between. Let me show you that again. So, remember, triangle, circle, triangle, now circle, and now spam triangle again. So this allows you to extend the combo a little bit, and it puts the shelling and the burst fire shelling in there as well. It also consumes a crap ton of durability off of your weapon, so you'll want to sharpen off them. Luckily, you guys don't have to deal with limited um, whetstones, which is something that we had to deal. Back in my day in the old Monster Hunters, you had limited whetstones. So you don't have to deal with that particular nonsense. You have infinite ones, so just sharpen your weapon every chance you get or whenever you see that your weapon is getting a little bit weaker. Okay, so now you, you should know how to get into slam which, because I've pretty much hammered it into your face. So you can now do slam at the end of that three poke combo. Like I told you, one, two, three. Remember this one? This one was the first one I told you guys about. Let's get to it. Let's do a slam at the end of that, shall we? So... One, two, three, four, 
slam. Uh, I just did the rising slash, forgot the slam. Sorry about that. As I said, one, two, three, four, rising slash, slam, shelling, continue onwards, worm stick cannon. So you can do some pretty complex combos. And like I said, always remember, whenever you do the slam, you can follow through with both shelling as well as the worm steak cannon. Just remember, if you look to the top left-hand side, remember that the worm steak cannon is just like a piece of ammo. So for instance, you shoot a couple of rounds, you now only have three rounds left. You can see that information top left-hand side. If you do the worm steak cannon, Blade is gone. Notice how it's now marked red. So you can't do the worm steak cannon again. If you try doing the worm steak cannon, your character's gonna go like, uh, I, don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. So remember, you gotta reload. Reload super simple. Uh, it is blocking circle. And I guess I've been reloading all this time and I haven't even told you how to reload. It's just blocking circle. Blocking circle. Like you shoot something, blocking circle. We'll reload. We'll reload everything. Your ammunition as well as your worm steak. So... If you miss the worm stake cannon, make sure that you actually have the blade there. If you're trying to shell and you can't do it, make sure that you have actually reloaded your weapon. You have to reload your weapon constantly when you're in the middle of a fight. Okay, so now you know how to do a couple of more complex combos, but remember how I hammered into your face about the slam thing. That's because the slam is going to come into use in a couple of more situations. Now, let's talk about sliding. Sliding is a new thing that you can do in this Monster Hunter. Uh, and it's really cool because it allows you to unlock a whole different, not really different moveset, but a, a couple of new moves for each weapon. Now, if you start sliding on, um, on the gun lance, you're going to get a couple of options. Press triangle, your character's going to jump upwards. So that right there is basically a jumping rising slash. And the jumping rising slash allows you to do two things. You can combo that into another triangle, and your character will poke directly forward with a jumping thrust, or... You can press your blocking button afterwards, and your character will slam down. And like I said, whenever you get the slam, you can continue to do the slam combo. So basically, something slash, slam, shelling, into worm stake cannon. You gotta keep these things in mind, okay? Whenever you get the slam, you can go into shelling, you can go into worm stake cannon. And now you guys are like, uh, so what's the difference between doing this if I'm trying to mount a monster or doing this. The difference is the type of damage. The first one will deal slashing thrusting, second one will deal slashing slashing. It's important eventually because you will learn the difference between thrusting damage, slashing damage. And I know that you guys are probably like, oh man, maybe a lot of you guys didn't even know that you could do the slam down from the jump. And you guys are like, oh man, trying to mount with the gun lance is so lame because he just does this little, Ugh. oops, damn, look at me going through all this. I didn't even knew those were there. Let me try and do a, a little bit of a simpler jumping attack. You jump, triangle, you guys, oh, that's so lame, doesn't do much. Well, you can also do with R2, which is much cooler, and it'll give you the slam attack. Slam attack, in my opinion, much cooler to deal with monsters. Also remember that you can do crazy stunts like if your weapon's sheeted, point over there, press circle, jump off, boom, slam into a monster. So you guys might think, oh, I thought the gun lance was really not that agile. Every weapon is agile. If you know what you're doing, okay? Don't ever let nobody tell you, oh, you're so sluggish with that gun lance. Just tell them, no, fuck you. I still have one of the best moves in the game, which now let me show you what that move is. This is the best move for whenever a monster is down. This is probably the best thing that you can do. Hold block, and then press triangle and circle. That right there is Wyvern's Fire. It is the main reason to take this particular gun. Wyvern's Fire deals crap tons of damage. It is super satisfying to use. Unfortunately, it also has a cooldown. You'll notice that our weapon is now glowing. Until that glow is gone, you can't do Wyvern's Fire again. There's no UI indicator. There's only an indicator in the weapon. So you have to wait. Once that glow is gone, you can then do Wyvern's Fire again. I don't know what the exact cooldown of it is. But, yeah, Wyvern's Fire is usually something that you want to use as often as possible, as long as you have it off of cooldown. 
Anyway, this should give you guys a basic idea of the stuff that you can do with the gun lens. So, for instance, if you wanted to do a jumping attack on this particular log, there are several ways to do it. One of which is you can actually run up these, this little mushroom patch over here. Character jumps off into R2, into shelling. I actually missed it there, but into Wormstake Cannon. You know? It's just, to me, this is one of the most satisfying weapons to use in the game. And I love it. And I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of tips. I know that I'm not the, the biggest professional with gun lens, and I'm not going to be telling you stuff like, oh, if you do this combo, we'll do the most damage. Look, I'm just trying to show you some of the cool combos that you can do with a gun so that you can go out there and have some fun. Just so a couple of quick corrections. Uh, as I was editing the video, I noticed that I forgot to show you guys uh, two different moves. One of them is the um, jumping burst, which is basically you can do jumping slash and then press circle. And that will do an aerial burst, which is essentially uh, a bit of a shotgun spread, as you can see. It's useful if you can get into sliding and you can um, get into a wyvern's face uh, through sliding. Maybe the wyvern's flying or something. It's pretty useful to hit him in the face with it, so like that, and... Brah! So, that is the aerial burst. And another thing that I forgot to tell you is that from the slam into shelling, you don't necessarily have to always follow through with triangle, so like this in order to get to worm steak you don't have to spam it like that if you are going to do shelling from the slam so like slam shelling you can just keep spamming circle and you'll go into worm steak straight up in one move it's just usually if you have enough time to do more hits you want to do more hits it all depends on how much time you see that you have like slam shelling okay i got some time Wide sweep worm stake cannon. Or maybe you're like, oh my god. Wait, let me just I gotta reload. Or maybe you're like getting ready to slam a monster and you go in, you're just like, uh, oh, slam. Oops, sorry I messed that up. My bad. And now I also have to reload. Damn it. Like I said, so you're getting ready to slam on a monster. Jumping slash. Slam, and then you're like, oh, I'm not going to have enough time. Then just spam circle. There's the worm stake cannon right there. Okay? Have some fun. So now let's talk about shelling types. Now, if you notice, uh, if you look to the right-hand side, you will notice that the shelling type of this weapon, right there in the middle of all those stats, there's one that says shelling type, is normal. Normal shelling type is the shelling type that has the most ammunition. It has medium range, and it has the most ammo of all shelling types. There are two other types. I'm not sure if this game has more than three types. Previously, I think we only had three types. Let me change my equipment because I have a couple of different types here. We have the Madness Gun Lance, which has a wide shell type. So this particular Gun Lance is going to be different. Notice that this Gun Lance only has two shots. The difference is the shots from this Gun Lance deal considerably more damage, and they also have less range. But they have a wide... This one is the real shotgun. So this one will do more damage, but it also only has two shots. You can do everything that you can do with the other one. So you can do Rising Slash, and the Smash, and the Boom. Burst Fire, it will still unload all of your stuff. You can still do Wyvern, all that same stuff. The difference is, this one's much closer range, and deals more damage, but has less shots. So like, for instance, let's try to look for a little marking on the floor here. Okay, this little stone here, can't hit it from here. But from here, you can't hit it either. And I'm out of ammo. From here you can, right? Now let's go get a different one, which is the long shell. Because I believe I have one of the long shells as well. But I, mean, I think it's my lightning one, right? Blazing gun lance. No, nope, blazing gun lance is long. This is from the Anjanath. You can see that the, mater the materials reflect the monster that you... Hunt. This one's from the Anjanath. So this one's long shelling type. So this one has the highest range and has a, medium, a decent amount of shots. It has three shots. Normal has five shots. Wide has two shots. Long has three shots. So it's a little bit longer. It's still not that long. It's still like there. See, this one you can hit from here. This is the longest range you can have on a gun lance is this. I actually missed it because I was naming properly there. This is the longest range you can have on a gun lance. So keep that in mind. See, from there it doesn't hit anymore. 
So this is in case you want to fight something that's a little bit further away, but to me personally, the reason I crafted this one is because this weapon has fire damage, and I like having different kinds, kinds of elements. Again, you can still do all of the slams, all of the other things that you could do previously. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of Gunland Sammo. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer anything to the best of my knowledge. Remember, I'm not super, hyper, mega knowledgeable about gun lances i just like them and i want more people to enjoy them because gun lances are fun know what i'm saying and hopefully this video helps you out with that thank you guys very much for watching see you guys in the next one you guys want me to do a specific weapon let me know also remember follow me on twitch I'm gonna be live streaming the game peace out people